Good evening, my listeners. This is the first dreams discussion, where I discuss matters of importance. Yes, I've had rant videos earlier before, but now I think this calls for something a bit more elegant. <laughs> Tonight's discussion is a plague that has been festering within the community for far too long, and it needs to be addressed. And this plague is, quite simply, ignorance. People seem to misunderstand the word grimdark. Well, let's talk about grimdark and what separates it from the dark and horror. Because there is a difference. First, let's talk about what makes grimdark. Shall we? The traditional meaning of grimdark is a fic that within it holds hopelessness. There is nothing that can save the protagonist. Nothing. Now this could be something so simple as to play off of fears and phobias or having them trapped between a rock and a hard place, rather figuratively or literally, depending on the situation. But let's go a bit deeper into it, shall we? What makes Grimdark truly special is the psychological damage it does to the listener. Let's say that within Grimdark, you not only feel helpless and hopeless, but you feel vulnerable. You feel your mortality slipping away within the dark confines of the situation. This is what makes Grimdark special, my friends. It is a psychological mind fuck. You will ask yourself who, what, when, where, and why, but you may not necessarily get the answers. <laughs> a good grim dog will leave you guessing until the very end. And even then, you may still be asking those questions. This is what makes Grimdark special. It has nothing to do with the gore, blood, and viscera. It is purely psychological. <laughs> Speaking of gore, blood, and viscera, this belongs to the horror category. Horror is a broader term, because of Grimdark in and of itself is horror, but not all horror is Grimdark. When the focus of the fic leads away from the what ifs and goes to the what, as in what is causing the blood, what is causing the gore, 
when your mind strays from the questions and focuses on the gore, it is no longer grimdark. It is a gore fest. Gore may be used as a seasoning, if you will, to give certain stories a personal touch. <laughs> But when it drives away and focuses primarily on the gore, it is no longer grimdark. Now, let's think about this, shall we? Why do people think cupcakes is grimdark? They believe that it is grimdark because of the torture bestowed upon Rainbow from Pinky. They think that what makes it dark is the detailed macabre that has been portrayed within it. They believe that the gore itself is what makes cupcakes truly dark and menacing. But this is not the case. What makes Cupcakes a grimdark is the fact that Pinky is within character. She is happy. She is broken. But she is demented. She is psychologically scarring you as she inflicts her kill. <laughs> yes, the decorations described within the story, the details, the, let's say, atmosphere is grimdark. It is horror. But the blood itself is not what makes cupcakes grim dark. Now, Let's go on to another story. Well, actually, since I was speaking of cupcakes, let's go into something else just for a small second, shall we? Not every horror, grimdark and dark fic is meant to be cup cakes. It is not Rainbow Factory, Little Miss Rarity, or the experiments of Twilight Sparkle. And when people... Uh, when people... Uh, when people portray Grimdarks as being nothing more than copy cats of these fix. It portrays their own ignorance. Not every story is meant to be cupcakes. When you say that this fic is said character's version of cupcakes, you are a moron. There are more types of killers than simply a hacker and slasher. There is so much more than a curious little unicorn dissecting you and doing experiments to see the effects. There is more than masochism. <laughs> Oh, there's so much more than masochism. Uh, but do people see it? No, they only see you writing or reading cupcakes. This is false. And if you are listening to this, and you think every grim dark is cupcakes. Stop. <laughs> Stop. <sighs> it may
makes no sense to compare one killer to another when neither of them are similar in any way, shape, or form. Now, let's get to proper labeling of your stories as a writer. Okay? If you wish to portray a villain a certain way, do your fucking research. If you have to write the character who has an established characterization, limits, and abilities, and you have to break them to write your fic, you need to stop, slap yourself in the face, and start over. If you are going to overpower your villain, be sure to put them within a proper tagline. Let's say as alternate universe. That way you will avoid bullshit. You will avoid unnecessary drama and debate. Now, let's see what happens when you take, oh, I don't know, rarity. Put her in a situation where she is forced to kill. How would she kill? Why is she killing? Who is she killing? Where is she going to kill them? The five W's speak volumes when you are writing. If you are going to make your story unnecessarily gory, you must think carefully about your story line. Killing them uh, without thought is beyond stupid. So, let's take a story apart. Hmm? Well, <laughs> since this is unscripted, I am having trouble recollecting something. But you get the gist, no? If you take a character out of character, you better believe it will be scrutinized to the minute. It will be dissected by every professional eye. And you will look like the fool that cried wolf. <laughs> oh, but there are wolves, aren't there? Are they just in your head? Only one way to find out. <laughs> now, my dear listeners, Let's move on to the tangent of dark. This is the broadest term within this segment. Dark is simply something that is not happy. Simple, no? <laughs> well, yes 
and no. Dark is, well, <laughs> it is dark. It makes you think of the less pleasurable side of things. It makes you feel that icy hand on your back pricking at your spine. It makes you feel as if you are drowning in a sea of sorrow and sadness. <laughs> Dark simply means to end not well. If a story ends and the characters are alive, then it is dark. If they break mentally, then it is grim. If they die, it is grim dark. <laughs> Oh, now, let's say your protagonist survives, but just barely. Let's say that they are cursed, broken, or maimed. This is dark, but not necessarily grim. Oh, my dear listeners. I could go on forever about these things. I could so, so go on forever. But I believe I must cut this short. So uh, allow me to reiterate. Not all horror is grimdark, not all grimdark is horror, but all are dark. Not every story needs to be gore and viscera. Not every story is cupcakes. And believe me, when I say this, to all of you. If you write a grim dark, dark or horror, be sure to know your story.